Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. May. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the seven principles of the Constitution. Okay. Now, a principle, not like, uh, you know, you have a principal of the school, a principal, right? That's like Mr. Autry. But a principle, the P-L-E, right? It's spelled a little differently. It's kind of like, um, it's a little bit different than a law. It's not a law, but it's kind of like the beliefs or like the truth that you build something on, right? So like if you think about like the way that you look at the world, if you think of everybody is inherently being good or everybody is inherently being bad, right? Those are like principles, right? How you look at the world, right? So our constitution has seven main principles, like the kind of foundation that we build the whole constitution on, that we run our whole country on. And there are seven of them. So over, this, over the span of today and tomorrow, we're going to be going over all seven. Um, however, today we're just going to be focusing on two of them, checks and balances and separation of powers. Okay, in just a minute, we'll, we'll be able to understand what all those, those are, but you have probably have heard of some of the parts of each of these, right? Now, all of them together, we have an acronym we call RC FLIPS, um, which is a kind of random word, but something to help us remember it by. Uh, there's republicanism, checks and balances, federalism, limited government, individual rights, popular sovereignty, and separation of powers. And like I just said, we're just going to focus on the separation of powers and checks and balances today. All right. So first, we have separation of powers. Um, essentially, if we were to, you know, and check out this picture, if we were to think of the whole government um, and all of the power that the government has as a tree, right, we don't give all of that power to one person. Right? If we gave all of that power to one person, that would be like a king, like King George III, or a dictator like Joseph Stalin or Adolf Hitler. Right? Instead, we don't want that to happen. We don't want the government to, be, to abuse the power, so we separate the power out. Uh, and and it's, if you think of it kind of like a tree, right? trees have a bunch of different branches. Right? The tree isn't just the trunk. Right? There's, the whole, there's all of the branches that are part of it, so, but it's all part of the tree. Right, so we've got three different branches of our government. Okay, um, so separation of powers is just that idea that we separate the power out. Um, so there are three main branches, right? There is the executive branch, the legislative branch, and the judicial branch. Okay, um, so looking at this slide, we can kind of get a picture of, of kind of what their main uh, power, what, what power do they have, right? Because remember, they don't have all of the power to do whatever they want, right? The legislative branch, right, they make the laws. The executive branch um, approves the laws. This is kind of like their like main power, right? And the judicial branch interpret what the laws mean, right? So they all kind of work together, right? The legislative branch will make the law, but the executive branch has to say like, that's okay, right? And then the judicial branch kind of says, what does that law mean? Right. So they all kind of work together with that. Right. Uh, however, they each do kind of have other powers that they're in charge of. Right. So the legislative branch, other than making laws. Right. They can they're in charge of declaring war or like making money. So when we say coin money, that means to make money. Um, they can impeach the president so they can remove the person in the executive branch. Uh, they approve appointments. So if somebody picks someone to be in the government, right, they have to approve it, right? So there's ways that they can kind of, you know, interact with each other. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, they can also override vetoes, right? Uh, which a veto, right, another power that the executive branch, rather than just approving the laws, right, they can do this thing called veto a law, right? right? So if the legislative branch tries to make a law, the executive branch can kind of just say no. They can veto it, Right. But the legislative branch could override that. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. Um, but the executive branch, other than being, you know, we, we call the executive branch, right, the leader, the, the president, right? So they are called the commander in chief of the military. So they're technically in charge of the entire military, right? They can appoint judges. They pick people who are in the judicial branch. Um, they negotiate treaties. So if we were at war or wanted to make a deal with uh, another country, right, they're the person who does that. They grant pardons, which is like they give forgiveness to – they can give forgiveness to somebody who's committed a crime and is in prison or something. Uh, and they can also create executive orders, which are similar to laws but a little bit less powerful. Um, lastly, we've got the judicial branch, right? Their job is to interpret the law. They find the meaning of it. The judicial branch, you, you've probably heard of the Supreme Court, 
uh, and the Supreme Court, right, the, the judge, right, in, in the judges, like the highest court in the United States. And you've probably heard of, you know, courts, right? So they're the highest court in the land, right? They also, not just do they help uh, settle legal disputes, right, figure out who's innocent or guilty, right? But they can say, like, you know, if the legislative branch makes a law, they can kind of say, well, this is what it actually means. So, for example, if the legislative branch made a law that said no one's allowed to wear hats, Right. So the executive branch would need to approve that law. Right. So if they're like, mm, that's no, that's dumb. They could just veto it. Right. But the legislative branch could override that veto. Um, but let's say the whole thing, it gets passed. Right. And no one is allowed to wear hats and someone gets arrested for wearing a hat. Now, the judicial branch in court, they're the people who say, like, well, what does it mean that you can't wear hats? Like, what is a hat? Right. Is can you wear a beanie still? Um, is a visor a hat? You know, so they kind of figure out what does that law actually mean? So that's kind of their their power kind of explained, right? So so very simply, right, legislative, they make the laws, executive approves the laws, the judicial interprets what the laws mean, okay? So that's separation of powers. Now, the other one we're going to talk about are checks and balances. Um, now, checks and balances... Um, it, we've already kind of mentioned it without using the word, but it's it's the, some ways that the legislative branch can like interact with the executive and the judicial branch. Um, they're kind of ways that they can, and, and I like this, they have a little bit of control over each other, right? The executive branch has a little bit of control over the legislative and judicial, same with the judicial and the legislative, right? So yeah, I like this example here. Like a judge is picked by the president Right, but the legislative branch has to say that, hey, yes, that's okay. Right. Now, this chart I've got right here kind of goes over it in detail, right? So, the ways that the executive branch interacts with the legislative, legislative with judicial, judicial with executive, right? So, we can see a bunch of different ways that they interact. Um, so, starting with the judicial branch, right? They can declare a law unconstitutional. So, if the legislative branch wants to make a law that says you have to wear a hat or you can't wear a hat, um, the judicial branch can say, like, mm, that breaks the Constitution because we have freedom of speech and we can kind of wear what we want to do that. Um, the judicial branch can also declare that an, an action of the president or an action of the executive branch is unconstitutional. So they write, they interpret the meaning of the laws. And remember, the Constitution is the laws. Okay, now the legislative branch Right. Or let's start with the let's go to the executive. Right. So the executive branch. Right. They're the people who actually pick who is in the judicial branch. So that's kind of the power that they have is the executive picks who's in the judicial branch. Right. Um, and, and down to the legislative. Right. They can veto any laws that they make. Right. Um, but and then the, and then in the oh my gosh in the legislative branch <laughs> tough word I guess so they can actually so they can override vetoes they just need to vote and have a two thirds vote uh, they can also impeach judges or the president right so if if they determine that the executive branch or the judicial branch they're breaking the constitution or doing things right they can impeach or and remove the president or people from the uh, Supreme Court in, in the judicial branch. Uh, so they all have a little bit of power over each other to do different things. Uh, and that's what checks and balances is, right? So these two, separation of powers, checks and balances, go kind of close hand in hand, right? Separation of powers is that we spread the power out between three branches. And then checks and balances is just basically how do those branches interact with each other? So, yeah, I hope this makes sense. We're going to have a little bit of practice with this today. And we're also going to be looking at the other ones, the other five principles tomorrow and get some more practice then. Um, but these kind of are all the, the, the foundation of how our country is run. So it's very important that we understand it. Um, work on the, the assignment that you've got next. And if you need help, uh, let me know. Um, we'll try and get a couple extra videos put up there to help you guys out. But if you need anything, uh, just send an email. Have a good day.